and I had a great private sector opportunity in the Sheboygan area, working for the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce and working for Sargento Foods. It was at Sargento Foods where the good people there said, Joe, we need good people like you to be in our legislature, to run and try to make a difference in, in Madison. And I did that. I'm proud of my public service career. Four years in the State Assembly, now 12 years in the State Senate. And I've worked hard to get our fiscal house in order and to get our budget and to get our economy growing in this state, working with Governor Walker on trying to make Wisconsin a better place for all of us. But our Congress in the, out in Washington is failing us. And again, for the sake of my children, Andrew, Willie, and Lucy, and for future generations, I want to go to Washington to fight to reform that government, focused on the issues that I focused on in Madison, and to again make America the great country that all of us deserve. Thank you. Uh, after being in the State Assembly for 11 years and being perceived to be one of the most conservative members up there, uh, my State Senator, Mary Panzer, who also represented Ozaki County, was not conservative on a many, many different issues. I decided to challenge her, and I won. Uh, and that's how I became a State Senator. However, since I've been a State Senator, I've represented parts of Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County, and I noticed up there that their Congressman, Tom Petri, was probably the most liberal of the Republicans that we had in the congressional delegation, and when they entered Ozaki County to the area, I decided to run against him. I thought it was going to be in for, Tom Petrie was a nice guy, but I thought it was going to be an interesting race to me against Tom Petrie, and lo and behold, a week later, Tom Petrie dropped out, and I got these other three fine gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it's really why, those eight kids is why I do what I do. It's why I work so hard in my life, and it's why I got involved in politics. Because I'm concerned about the future of this country. I'm concerned about the future of the next generation. What kind of world are we going to leave them? And that's what I live for, and that's what I work for right now. It's, it's, it's the next generation. Now, with a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work, I've had a successful career. But I'll tell you what, along the way, I've noticed that the reach of government has gone far into my life than it ever has when I was a young man, and that wasn't all that long ago. Now, when you think about it, it's in our personal lives and in our private lives that that's occurring. And um, so I think we need a new approach to government right now. I think we need more outsiders. I think we need fewer career politicians. I think we need a, need a different way of thinking. We just can't keep taxing, spending, and regulating ourselves to prosperity. It's not going to happen. What we need is we need leaders, we need bold leaders, and we need conservative leaders. We need to change the direction of this country from this current administration. Technology. And I was able to help give people many jobs and advancements for local companies such as Mercury Marine, Kohler, John Deere, Harley Davidson, and many of these other area companies. So I have a lot of background with business and industry, and I'd like to use the background that I have with business and industry to help grow the business and industry in the area. And I also have uh, areas of energy. One of the things I dealt with, my, my degree was in industrial education with transportation and energy, and I'd like to develop the country's energy resources that we have so that we can grow our economy and get this country back working again.